Welcome back, Scorpio. We have our Lion's Gate portal reading. Such an important time to be able to manifest as the sun, moon, and Sirius, the brightest star, night sky, makes an alignment. The ancient Egyptians believed that this was a portal to the afterlife. Now, it starts July 28th and ends on August 12th, with August 8th being the peak of the Lion's Gate portal. Now, we have a full moon in Leo on the 8th of August as well. Number 8, representing transformation and change into the ether for eternity. It's a very powerful time. So, thank you for tuning in. I hope this video helps. Remember, tarot is a game and all material is solely formed for entertainment purposes only. With that being said, Scorpio Collective, let us begin. Let's see what we can do to manifest more energy through this time to allow more abundance to come into your life. Scorpio Collective. Control here. You're going to let the universe work its magic right now. You're going to have to be flexible and open-minded right now. Easy does it through this new beginning. So slow and steady wins the race. Careful not to get involved in any rich quick schemes as well. Careful not to overspend also on wants instead of needs. Something here about being an entertainer at this time. Put yourself out there and bring out the best in you. Divine timing is at hand right now. Patience is a virtue. You may feel tired or out of balance as well. So you got to understand that the spirit is asking you, to, is basically forcing you to rest and recover. So something about uh, the way you voice or say something, you're taking a very calculated rest downwards. It's a downward spiral at home. There's arguments behind closed doors here. Uh, raising your voice, something like that. Um, possibly trying to get your message heard. Now we have parenthood. Um, a little baby here and her mother. Uh, your patient nurturing side is being asked by spirit right now or else through this portal. Remember your efforts don't go unnoticed. Now, that could be a warning for some. Take it as it resonates. Follow through what you set out to do consistently until you reach your goals. Hard work is going to be required in building your finances. Scorpio, peace. Spirit is saying right now peace comes in or manifestation does not. You are being called to apply diplomacy intact to a difficult situation and celebrate it. You see this as you bring everyone in. You've accomplished so much by doing that. And you'll be able to take some time off and celebrate your success. There may be an unforeseen increase in your income as well. Take it as it resonates. There's perfection. Give up your perfection. It's causing delays in your finances, especially if you're trying to get out there exploring. Remember, keep trying. There are no mistakes. Just grow. Just to opportunities to learn and grow. You might have that little rebel spirit. But as Aquarius comes in between the 14th and 20th as well, Remember, between that time, uh, Uranus is going to be trying to make a loose grin trine in Earth signs. So just understand that perfection, you know, you are enough and have what it takes to improve your finances. Also, charity is here. So you've got to understand when you're asking Spirit for a fish, he's not going to serve you a rock. Now, see where you can give more of yourself as well to help others and make a difference. Something about the past here. Something from the past is coming back. Look to the past to understand the future lesson, experience, or an old skill. You could be earning or receiving money from something you did in the past as well. There's new money here. If you have a money-making idea, do it. Something new you've been working on would be very profitable. That's not going to be for everybody, but for some of you. Now, the office. Think of the greater good than oneself to achieve a better outcome. Now, something unethical. If you are negative, this is not the time to be negative. Positive intentions only to manifest during this time. Someone or, I don't know, someone is stealing or something, lying uh, with money. Uh, 
there's even a Scorpio here that does not need to sacrifice their morals for money. Understand unethical behavior is going to be leading to some serious consequences during that Leo um, uh, portal. Ouch. There will be a halt and your blessings will be caged here. So this is a forewarning for you, Scorpio. And like I said, this isn't going to be for everyone. Some of you are going to have to celebrate their because of persistence, parenthood, and these kinds of things. For the ones that went through all this and worked really, really hard, I just want to let you know um, there's new money coming in. Even probably enough here that you'll be able to help those that are around you. You are perfect. Okay? This is amazing. Progress, not perfection. 2017, you've been at this. Perhaps you were writing a book as well. See magazine work. Uh, the artist, different things like this coming up. But you will never get ahead if you don't overcome the fear of failure. Super, super important. Now, whoever's over here with unethical arguments, uh, very negative energy, it's very risky time to be doing all that. That is a forewarning. Now, we do have Explorer and the Rebel. So, Scorpio, you are being called right now. If there's something that you were trying to get out there, just understand it's time for patience okay entertainer um these kinds of things just watch partying and spending too much uh it's controlling you there's um <clears throat> plants buying too many plants comfort staying in your comfort zone these kinds of things. You're going to need to manifest uh, a better life. You really do. Uh, faith without works does not work. All right. And whatever you think about, you're going to bring about. So whatever you believe, you're going to receive. Don't seek validation from others at this time. That's when luck's going to start coming in for you. You're going to see more options. You're going to see that job come in for you. There's going to be something better for you that comes in. All right. So with that being said, what can we do? Oh, we got one more that flew out. Spirituality. Right. Like I said about that fish and rock thing. Maybe it's been hard to find support, but you need to believe that you can manifest something very positive right now. Now, balancing the solar plexus. The chakra is the hub of digestion. Poor digestion is one of the first signs the chakra is out of balance. The chakra reacts to anxiety and fear, which can in turn affect the body physically. All right. Now, excessive energy can lead to overworking yourself, resentments of authority, and being overly judgmental. Deficient energy can cause depression, insecurity, fear of being alone, and poor digestion. There are many ways to balance the chakra. Please see the cards that follow. Balancing the solar plexus that came out again. So it wants me to leave this card out. Heart chakra. The chakra's key concepts are love, trust, compassion, and empathy. The chakra's color is green and its element is air. To open the heart chakra, burn essential oils, candles, or incense with scents of rose, lavender, orange, and jasmine. Okay. You got a bunch fly out here. The chakra's key concepts are pleasure, creativity, sexuality, needs, and emotion. The chakra's color is orange and its element is water. And that is the sacral chakra. You have an affirmation here while you manifest all that you desire. I am motivated to pursue my true purpose. Strengthening that sacral chakra. Here's an activity. The chakra re relates well to the element water. And the ability to change and flow with it, right? Just like your sign, Scorpio. You can reconnect with the element by spending time in water, going for a swim, sitting near a flowing stream, or taking a relaxing bath. The chakra is all about creative expression, so exploring your creative side could help. This is completely personal to you and could involve anything from coloring, drawing, cooking, baking, or gardening. Also, the root chakra is the first chakra in the body chakra system. The chakra has earth energy. 
and is associated with the feeling of grounding and safety. The root chakra is sometimes known as the Muldara chakra because of its feminine energy. It governs the functioning of the lower part of the body, including the lower back, lower spine, kidneys, and bladder. And somebody wants to know, like, how do you use these cards right now? So, why not? <laughs> uh, these cards contain the knowledge required to tune into your body. By locating the chakras, learning about their alignment, and becoming intuitive to any blockages, you can fully tune into your body and mind. Blocked or misaligned chakras can negatively impact your physical and psychological health. Chakras can help you declutter your mind and tune into the world around you. Through gentle movement and relaxation techniques, you can help bring your chakras into balance. By living more mindfully and using each chakra, you can reduce stress and begin to heal and manifest all that you desire. Scorpio, everything happens for a reason. So if you're new here, smash that subscribe button. Check back for a 14th through the 20th reading as we step into a new beginning. For all those that have already subscribed, thank you so much. I hope this video helps. Till next time.